The uncertainty principle is the other main aspect of quantum theory. And the uncertainty principle says that we cannot know the exact position and the exact momentum of an object at the same time. Okay, so I can know one, but I can't know the other. And the idea is that if in order to know the exact position of an object, I have to stop it okay, in order to know that position. And if I stop it, then I can't calculate its momentum. But if I want, it to know, want to know its momentum, I have to let it keep going, in which case I can't know the exact position. Okay, so we can't know both things at the same time. Now we can calculate various aspects of that idea with an equation. And this is the uncertainty equation, so delta x times delta p is greater than or equal to h over 4 pi. Okay, now, delta x is the uncertainty of position. Okay, and the way that I always um, remembered that when I was a student um, is that think about x as like coordinates on a, on a plane. Okay, so in order to find a location, you need an x-coordinate. Right, so that's the location. That's the position. Delta p is the uncertainty of momentum. Okay, and in order to calculate delta p, we need mass and the uncertainty, that's delta velocity. Okay, so the important thing here is the uncertainty in these numbers. Okay, uncertainty of momentum, uncertainty of position. Okay, so for example, if I give a velocity of 2 meters per second plus or minus 0 0.5 meters per second. Okay, this piece right here, the plus or minus part, that's the uncertainty. Okay, so whatever that object is could be traveling at 2.1 meters a second, 2.4 meters per second, 1.8 meters per second. Okay, but the average velocity is 2 meters a second, and the uncertainty is the 0.5 plus or minus. Okay, so anytime you see that plus minus part, that is the uncertainty in that measurement. Okay, so let's use that velocity and let's calculate the uncertainty of position. For a macro object, let's say, um, let's use that 76 kilograms again. So calculate the uncertainty of position for an object with mass of 76 kilograms and velocity of 2 meters a second plus or minus 0 0.5 meters per second. All right, so what we're given here is mass and uncertainty and velocity. That gives us delta P. Delta V. All right, so we have 76 kilograms. times 0 0.5 meters per second. Okay, that's my uncertainty. All right, so we'll find that our uncertainty in momentum, our delta P, 
is 38 kilograms times meters per second. Right, so we have our delta x, delta p, greater than or equal to h over 4 pi. If I rearrange to solve for x, then my uncertainty in position equals h over 4 pi delta p. And h is still Planck's constant. So it's 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 kilograms meters squared second squared times seconds. 4 times pi times 38 kilograms meters over seconds. Right, so for a macro object, right, something you can pick up and carry across the room, without thinking about it too hard, you are fairly certain of that position. Okay, and so when we calculate the value here, we have 1.39 times 10 to the minus 36 meters. Okay, so that means that we know the location of that object within 10 to the minus 36 meters, right? We are very certain of location. Or position. Okay, so it's important that we recognize that small values of delta x and delta p mean high certainty. We're very certain. All right, so let's take a look at, again, using an electron. All right, so as we get smaller, we're going to find that the uncertainty in position becomes much more significant. for an electron with a velocity of 2.05 times 10 to the 6 meters per second plus or minus 3.1 times 10 to the 4 meters per second. Okay. So the plus or minus, that's our uncertainty. And in this case, of velocity. All right, so I can calculate delta P. And the mass of an electron in kilograms, 9.109. times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms, times the uncertainty in velocity, 3.10 times 10 to the 4 meters per second. Okay, so same scenario as before, delta x equals h over 4 pi delta p. All right, so I'm just going to plug in those numbers. I don't even need to calculate them beforehand. I'm just going to plug them into the equation. 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 kilograms meters squared second squared times seconds. 4 times pi times my delta p, which is 9.109 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms times 3.1 times 10 to the 4 meters per second. All right, so we're going to find that the uncertainty in position for an electron, 1.9 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. OK, 
okay, which is, if I do the conversion, is roughly the same as, well, it's, it is the same as 1900 picometers. Right now, at the moment, that may not make a lot of useful information for you, but let's compare it to the radius of a sodium atom. Okay, radius of an entire atom, electrons and all. Okay, a sodium atom is only 186 picometers across. So if my uncertainty in position of that electron is 1,900 picometers across, uncertainty matters to an electron. Okay, now, in the handwritten notes, there's a lot of information there about um, what scientists did after that. None of which, none of that information is really entirely pertinent to you um, as far as doing the problems in the, uh, in the homework or any of that other information, but it is kind of interesting. So if you want to understand how they came up with, um, went from this information to understanding what we know about orbitals, great, you can look into it. Um, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to move on to the next topic, which are uh, quantum numbers. Okay, and actually, I lied. I'm going to stop here on this video, and we'll pick it up on the next video with quantum numbers and finish out the chapter.